Welcome back. It's been weeks since we've last played this game, at least if I remember correctly. But let's try to play it anyway. Um, this is Shogi Wars. And it's a site where you can play games with uh, some fun animations. Um, optionally, people have music that they listen to while playing. But we'll have none of that. We'll just play some good old 10 minute Shogi Wars and see how we do. I'm trying to decide do I want to play third file or central file rook? I think I'm in the central file rook today. Or central file rook mood today, if I can play it. So. I tend to have my best successes with that on this site. Um, perhaps because opponents don't expect it. I'm not sure. Good luck. Alright. I forget the move order already. Uh, let's close this. So, yeah, if I were to play Central Fall Rook, this would be a bit odd, but it's got my curiosity, so let's do it. Start pushing the king to somewhere safer. And yeah, perhaps uh, there might be some echo or feedback, so I'm going to turn the volume down just a touch. Um, maybe that's a bit too quiet. Let's bump it up. So I'm going to play Half Mino Castle and see where we end up next. Um, yeah. Alright, this time our silver and bishop complement, uh, rather than conflict with each other. So, that's good news. Uh, yeah, they've played this castle, which you've seen before. There's no surprise there. Um... Yeah, the twin gold. They've built this really strong shape in the center of the board. So, odds of me being able to smash this castle are not super great. Um, that's interesting. Oh, that's clever. Not seen this before. Uh, okay. Well, I have a pawn in hand, but things are about to get a bit uh, exciting, for lack of a better term. Yeah, so we've accidentally yielded uh, the center to our opponent. Uh, they now have the vanguard pawn, and we have a pawn in hand. Uh, which means I need to find somewhere else to attack. Central file is not mine anymore. Despite the fact that I played central file rook. It's not mine. Oh well. Um, sure, let's oppose this. Maybe the knight would have been useful to oppose this too. I'm not sure. Ah, they're bringing the bishop out to attack my rook. As they should. Um, interesting. Yep. 
So I have avoided playing the bishop exchange opening, but the position I've got right now is not enjoyable. So yeah, I'm a bit confused as to what to do next. There's Diamond Mino of one form or another. Uh, this helps protect the head of the rook. Um, yep. I don't have any tricks with, like, moving the bishop into this pin and then moving it out with check. So, well, how bad is a rook exchange here? It looks pretty awful because a rook drop, well... Yeah, and a rook drop leads me to be forked. Um, hmm. I mean, I, worse things could happen than a fork, so maybe that's fine. Why do I need to take that? Because uh, if I don't, they'll protect it. Okay. So I kind of do need to take this. But also, there's not a good way to take it. So. Yeah, I'm just going to walk straight into the fork. Uh, yeah, I was a little concerned about this too. But not so much as I was concerned about the fork. If rooks got exchanged and then they fork my bishop and knight. Um, I mean, yeah, this is problematic, but... I can deal with this. Uh, let's see. I wonder if there is a path forward somehow. It doesn't look likely. We got two pawns in hand. So, if we knew any edge file to Suji, now be the time. Hmm, I don't know. I mean, this seems to be my best path forward, but I don't... Oh, okay. Interesting. I did not realize that was a thing. And now we realize it. And it stings a bit, but... Uh, now there's some advantage to my side of this, too. This is getting worse and worse move by move. Um... Hmm. Yeah, that ain't great. I guess we're going to activate this bishop. It's not going to be pretty. Um, yeah, I didn't want to see that. I guess I forgot that they could do that. Go for me. <laughs> All right, well, here goes nothing. I mean, yeah, I could sack the bishop for a gold general, but it doesn't seem to lead anywhere positive. So we're going to try this instead and see if I can find something. Oh, oh, OK. Yeah, that's actually pretty critical. Nicely spotted. Damn. Well, we're going to do this anyway. But yeah, this is pain. <laughs> This is pain. Okay. I 
could say things like, imagine how much worse this could be, but really, this is pretty bad. Um, oh, I can't... Okay, so I have to do this in order to have an attack here. Uh, oh, the Tokian could take this. Whatever. We're going to start exchanging stuff and hope that I survive. That's the plan. So yeah, they could take a gold, and I take a rook, and eventually I'm going to get a silver and drop the silver to fork these golds, and maybe something positive might happen. Um, I'm hoping their king is not as well secured as mine is. Yeah, the other uh, thought that came to mind was dropping this pawn to attack the knight and then promoting it. But then the knight and the rook and such just run away. And I have a promoted pawn, but it does me no good. So, instead this way, I'm able to start attacking their castle immediately. While they still can't drop a pawn in the way of my bishop. Now... This presumes that they aren't just going to go push this one and promote it. And if they do, I don't know what we're going to do. I think take the silver, but I'm not sure. If the silver moves, we get a free token. But they get our bishop, but that's okay. Um, yeah, it's a mess either way. Okay, let's double check. Yeah, no really still looks good. We've given them a hard or we've given them a decision here. I think they're better in all lines, but still, we get something. I assume their king survives my attack. Oh, really? You can't be serious. Okay. Check. Um... Oh, wow. Can't believe we got to start an attack here. Uh, I'm so excited that I might not be attacking correctly. Uh, also, I'm completely forgetting the defense of my own king. <laughs> ah, thanks for the game. Oh my goodness. That was exciting. All right. uh, let's play another game. Huh. They had a bishop. I wonder how they got that bishop. <laughs> no, we know now. All right. Good luck. Well, that's a fun shape. Mm -hmm. Okay, that that's, yeah, that's a fun shape. Um, what more can I say? 
Oh, well, that's, uh, not seen this in a while. Um, hmm. well, let's complete this. And not panic, and continue not panicking, and maybe find something. As for where, I'm not sure, but it's, there's got to be something somewhere, right? I think we're both very confused. We're going to find out momentarily if uh, it's just me who's confused. Man, I'm not good at the central tension stuff. It's hard. Um... Is this correct? Yeah, I'm still confused. Nanafun. I'm so confused. Um... Why do I not understand anything here? Okay, this feels like it has to be the right move. Likewise, this. 
I don't really understand this, but it feels right. Um... And then we can continue pressing forward. So I did this pawn sack first to ensure that whatever follows next will hit the king. So... Yeah, I don't get this. Like, I want to promote my rook, but I also recognize, like, <laughs> the rook's probably not promoting here. Um, Go for me. So we have an unsupported silver and a king that's still on a little bit of a journey. All right, silver has support now. Um... Try to draw it forward. Well, forcing it to either retreat or draw forward. In either case, splitting the board. Um, and this is what I anticipated here. Is that you can't have a silver protecting a silver. At least not from behind. Right, so this involves the bishop. Um, Something. We're going to try this. It looks interesting. So my goal is to hit the king. The king's right there. Um, I mean, hitting the king doesn't do anything, but it feels nice. Um, but I'd like to think this is threatening in some way. If nothing else, the silver is attacked and our rook is right next to their king, and we have a knight that's also going to be next to their king in just a second. So, um, I think my attack is pretty fast. All right, they want to give us a silver too. We can certainly take pieces. Uh, 
2分30秒。On top of taking pieces, we can also promote pieces. And we can also attack pieces. So, the threat here, well, one threat is this. Actually, that's checkmate. Thanks for the game. Rook takes, dragon takes, checkmate. Alright, here we go. That was crazy, but we stayed calm throughout. How will we fare this time? Good luck. Um, all right. I forget what to do here. <laughs> um... think this is playable. Um, Alright. I don't know. I don't remember how this all goes. Um. Think this is playable? Oh, I see. Maybe it's not playable. Maybe I just lose. We'll find out in just a minute. <sighs> Move ordering stuff is tricky. Don't yet see how I lose this, but again, maybe I do lose this somehow. I'm thinking I can push the third foul pawn once more and then fork the brick and the king. Um, at least that's the trap that we all have in mind. Alright, this I did not have in mind, but we can do it anyway. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's possible. Um, so yeah, you get a dragon. That's nice. Um, we have two bishops. They're kind of fun. I think we just try to open this as quickly as possible for our rook and other pieces. I missed that. All right. Um, I'm not even sure if it matters that I missed that. Uh, I don't want to block my rook. Blocking my rook would be too sad. Yeah, I don't know what I want to do here. I really don't know what I want to do here. This looks crazy, but really. Um, 
So if they exchange rooks, I think I'm okay with that. If they uh, exchange the dragon for the bishop, I think we're fine with that too. If they play this move, we just take the pawn. And wait for them to hit us again with a similar tactic. But no, we have rook takes knight check threatened here, which collects a dragon. Um, yeah, let's do it. That might not have been the best move, but it felt good, so we're doing it. Now they have this king-bishop fork, and stuff just gets more and more complicated from here. Oh, they elect not to. Okay. Um, not what I expected. I guess we try to secure our king. <laughs> Maybe? How do we even do that? What is this defense? What does defense even mean? Um, yeah, this is so weird. Well. Oh. If I place down my heaviest piece, it gets attacked immediately. But that might be okay. Yes, that's a defending and attacking move. Protects the row of my king, and attacks the column where they're most vulnerable, which is now defended. So, um, yeah, we progress back into a middle game where things calm down a little bit. Not that much. Um... So we're going to continue hitting this, hit the lance, try to start protecting more squares, but not really. I'm still concerned about the ear of my rook, or rather both of its ears, and I might, in panic, just drop a knight back here. Okay, they finally placed this down, which is the piece I was most worried about. Um, there we go. So now we're fine. Go from. Yeah, now we are like super fine. Uh, oh, that is a fork. Thankfully, based on the way these pieces move, um, I have a defense. <laughs> yeah, I am lucky once more. All right. Yeah, no, you're noting that there is another fork here. Oh. I missed that. Alright, so the threat is gold drop forking my bishop and rook. Um, yeah, I think that's fine. We can sack a piece. Uh, as long as we keep collecting a ton of pieces along the way. It's okay if a piece or two has to be sacrificed. So they have to place that down to defend their king. It might not be adequate to the defensive task, um, but it looks adequate. Oh, okay, do we sack the house? 
or do we just calm down for once? <laughs> oh, these are the tough questions in this game. Um, oh, actually, there's a middle ground where I can continue the attack and not sacrifice pieces. Maybe we pick that path for once. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it'd be nice if we had a good square for the rook. That'd be wishful thinking, wouldn't it? Um. All right, let's attack this piece. Yeah, okay, that's fine, I guess. Sure, I'm okay with exchanging these. Something. Um... Protect our rook. They don't have a rook, so as long as eventually I can fence out their bishop, I'm fine. So they're going to keep trying to repeatedly drop the bishop in our camp and trying to promote it. And they can only do this so long as I don't build an attack and break their castle. So we need to build an attack somewhere around here. Mm hmm Um... Yeah, okay. Point taken. They spend two moves. I spend one. Try to calm this down a little bit. And then attack the weakness. And then win a bishop. Finally. All right, we'll take one of those. We'll take one of those. That's okay. Um, see how many things we can take while we're at it. <laughs> Start chasing their king. Oh, damn it, I walked into a fork. So yeah, I'm actually going to have to take the silver after they do knight takes gold. Uh, except they didn't do that. Alright, uh, I'm so confused. I fucked up. We've removed this knight. Which is causing us some trouble. Uh, fine, we can remove that. That's okay. Lift the rook. Get the rook into the opposing camp. Also, we have a bishop drop right there, where he could just pick up a gold for free. But more important is checkmate. Uh, 
going to say that. But now they've taken a defensive piece, so we're going to attack here. Um, that seems dangerous, sir. All right. That seems much too dangerous for your king. I have a mate in one threat. He's probably going to move the gold to defend the mate. Oh, but moving the gold might not completely defend the mate either. Yeah, that's a problem. If they move it up here, Knight Fork. If they move it up here, Maiden One. If they don't move it, I'm not sure. Yeah, that's a good point. Um... I'll just take this. Surely I had mate there somewhere and just completely missed it. But we're playing some dumb, cautious move instead. I'm in time pressure, I should stop talking. Eep, eep, boom. Wow, three intense games in one session. That will be, definitely be enough for this morning. Wow, I hope we all enjoyed this little series. Uh, yeah, surely tactics were missed all around, but we're Q players, so this is natural. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.